This is Mark from Teenage Engineering, and I'm here with a pocket operator Pew 33, the KO. It's a sampler. We're going to try to use the KO to compose some drums today using the drum sample banks that we have available. So if I want to listen to some drum sounds, I press and hold sound, and I can preview each one of these sounds, or I can go through each one of the voices by pressing the 1 through 16 array. It's always good to start with a click pattern, so I'm going to find and tune a sound that I think would make a good click pattern. These are nice. Let's start with this one. So I'm going to put a pattern sound at 1, 5, 9, and 13. There was some music playing because we're at a pattern that has already been recorded. So I'm going to delete this pattern by pressing record and pattern. So now I've got nothing again. Cool, it's a nice four, four beat. So if I wanted to add some other instruments, I can preview those instruments. First, you have to remove the step sequencer function. You have to turn it off and listen to different pattern sounds. That's pretty cool. So maybe I'll just fill this up with that sound. Let's see what it sounds like. So you may have noticed that the kick drum is gone now. It's because each one of these instruments is a mono sequencer, but you can do polyphonic drum sequencing using each one of these voices. So if I like this kick drum, for example, I was using before on number 12, I'll need to select it, write with it, and then I've got it playing along. If I select a different, that's nice. This is nice. If I select using this pattern, So that's not a bad pattern, but it is lacking a little something. So I'll go to sound and preview the different sounds by pressing sound and then pressing one through eight right now. That's a pretty cool sound. So I'm going to use it. I'm going to step sequence with it by turning on the step sequencer. Actually, maybe I'll play live. I'll select this sound, press and hold right. So something that actually makes digital music sound like one thing is the effects production. So now I'm going to try to apply some effects production to the entire track and see in this entire loop and see if it actually comes together a little bit more. So I'm going to press play, apply some effects, it sounds good. I'm going to turn on the step sequencer again by pressing right, press and hold effects, and then apply that effects chain. Now if I wanted to, I can change the groove. That's starting to sound like something fun. Some live effects. And that's how it's done.